Hey everyone, Sheila here from Life With Pets. So today we are gonna run an experiment. One question that I see just about all the time is what snail is best as cleanup crew and particularly for algae. So today we're gonna run a test on that. I have let two of my tanks get really bad and I'm gonna show you that in a minute. And we're gonna test these snails in those tanks. So let me just talk about the three most popular types of snails really quickly before we get into that. So here I have a mystery snail, it's just a baby one. The pink one at the back and the blue one next to it are ram's horn snails. And then we have a zebra nerite and this little guy here who is trying to escape. This one there is a tiger nerite. So we have two nerites and we have the two ram's horns and then we have a baby purple mystery snail and I don't know if the color, there we go, that's a pretty good shot of them all. So what we're gonna do is I am gonna put a nerite snail and a mystery snail in a tank and see which one is the best for clearing up algae. Now, the reason I am not gonna do the ram's horns is because they breed like crazy and the tanks that I am doing this in are snail free and I wanna keep them that way. With snails, you do need to take your tank size into consideration and just let me show you why. See this little baby mystery snail in there? they can get very large okay so this is two adults and we have had them get a lot bigger than this this is our oldest one right now who is almost three and this one here is almost two and as you can see they are pretty big when we put the little one let's just get the little one and then you can see the size difference here there we go. So sort of normally when you buy them, uh, especially if you buy them from us, I will leave links in the description box below for these snails. You will get them approximately this size, maybe a little bigger, and you can see there's a big difference. And so with mystery snails, it is a 10 gallon and up because they do produce an awful lot of waste. And with the nerites, I would say five gallons and up. Again, they produce a lot of waste. Ram's horn snails can be five gallons and up but the one thing you do need to bear in mind with those is they do produce a lot of waste they also produce or breed like crazy so the reason I have picked sort of these three types of snails is because these are usually what are recommended they are usually what are in people's aquariums and so I thought it would be a really good experiment to take the little mystery snail here and the nerite and put them in a tank and see who is best at cleaning up algae. And I already know who I think it's gonna be and I'm gonna call it that it's the nerite snail. But we will have to wait and see. I'm gonna run the test. I'm gonna do it for probably two to four days, something like that. We will see what the progress is like in both the tanks and we will then get the results and I will share those with you. So these are the tanks that I'm going to run the test in. It is gonna be this one at the end, which you can see is really bad. The three in the middle are not bad at all. They've all got a snail in each. And then this one is not as bad as the one at the end, but obviously I can't sort of manufacture the algae. It's had the same light due to, cause there is a window sort of right here. And then at the other end, there's a window there. So, and that the tanks are equally sort of centered between the window. So this one didn't get quite as much algae on it, but it, you can see that there is a lot there. So we will then see at the end of the experiment, how much better or worse it is as time goes on. I think for the experiment, what I am going to do is take out the coconut hut and the choya wood, and the same with this one here, just while I do the test. And the reason for that is sometimes the snails will go straight for wood first, and I really ideally want the tangible results that we can see on the glass so that we can see whether it does make a big difference. But as you can see on this particular tank, it is really bad. So this one is gonna take a lot of work. So I'm going to go get the snails and then I'll show you which ones I'm gonna put in which tank. Okay, so for the test, I'm gonna use this snail right here and I'm going to use this mystery snail here. I'm not gonna use ram's horns simply because I do not want um, 
ram's horns in these and also with ram's horns they're not usually the first choice when it comes to a cleanup crew for algae they are pretty good at cleaning it up but i don't want them in these tanks we've deliberately kept these snail free so it's just going to be a mystery snail because that is the most common one people will say along with the nerite so i am going to take this one here and i need to get it to release there we go off the bottom you just have to very gently so we're going to put this one in here as you can see it's got a nice stripe and i am going to put him down sort of up against the glass there we go like so it's already suckered itself on and then i'm going to take the mystery snail this one here and I am going to put it in this one here. You can see all the babies on the top. And I have taken out the choya and all that sort of stuff. So I'm gonna do the same. And then each day I will then do the results and we will see what we come up with. Okay, so they are in and already munching and it does actually make a big difference on the type of algae that the snails will eat if you have a hard green sort of spot algae then snails typically don't make much headway with that however if it's like the thin like a film algae which is what all this is then they will usually make quite an indent into it so hopefully i'll come back i will keep videoing over the next few days and we'll come back and see what the results are one thing to note with these snails as well in a big difference in them the mystery snail will eat anything basically anything that goes in the tank that is uneaten or if it can get to the food before the fish then it will eat it however the nerite snails rarely will they eat food if there is plenty of algae to be going at so that is one of the reasons these do make excellent algae eaters so this is the third day and I'm going to stop the experiment here as we do have a clear winner. As you can see on this tank here, we have virtually no change whatsoever. There are just a few tra snail tracks up on this side, but other than that, there is absolutely no difference whatsoever. So the mystery snail made very little impact. However, on the other tank, you can see here that there is a huge difference. I have actually just added the wood back into the tanks and you can see there is a massive difference. We couldn't even see in this tank at the beginning of the experiment. You can see on this side here, most of the algae has gone and the snail is now working on this side and the back portion is clear and you can see that now working its way up on this side here so absolutely clear winner now the only thing i will say with the nerite snails that people don't like about them and i can totally understand that is that whilst they don't breed they do leave little white eggs so you can see on the glass there i don't know how clear it is there are little white eggs and that is the snail having laid those very often you will see them sort of all over the tank all over decorations and it cannot look very nice but they are fairly easy to get off personally it doesn't bother me at all i'd rather have a snail in the tank that did a great job doing the cleanup which is often what you want uh, but for a lot of people they don't like it at all one thing you need to take into consideration when you are picking a snail is exactly what you're wanting it for mystery snails typically are not good at cleaning algae and they do need a diet besides the leftover food that maybe the fish haven't eaten and things like that and i think that's a big mistake that people make with them they do need a varied diet and they do need a high calcium diet as well so they won't just eat algae off the sides of the tank which has obviously been proven here whereas with a nerite which you can see one a little tiny one back there they will very happily live on just algae from a tank they don't need any supplements or anything like that in fact 
we've actually got I think three or four nerites that are about three and a half almost four years old and we never feed them as in target feed them uh, they only live off the algae in the tank whereas mystery snails they do need a high calcium diet and they need a very varied diet so they're just two things to take into consideration when choosing the snail that you want in a tank if you're wanting a decorative snail that's going to get nice and large and is really pretty to look at then for sure a mystery snail is a great option but if you are wanting a a snail that is going to work in your tank then the nerai is definitely the way to go and i personally think that they're a very pretty snail as well we definitely have a clear winner um, and I would definitely recommend the Nerite snail if you're wanting a snail to help with algae. If you're wanting a snail as a cleanup crew as far as um, fish food and things like that then mystery snails I guess would be the way to go with that. Alright guys so that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments box below what you thought of the results. Um, I am absolutely thrilled. I did think that the Nerite would do a great job, or at least I hoped it did because I let the tank get so bad. So I am really pleased that it did do the job I thought it was going to do, and the experiment was definitely worth it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and we'll see you next time.